actually been working on this book for a year now. Um, and it's so funny because I always like, I edit it, I re-edit it, I cut things out, I add things in, I change the cover. Um, but I'm hoping to have that finished by the end of the year. It's, it's, it's in the editing stages, but it, it should be coming. It's called um, Passion, Purpose, and Paychecks. And it's really, you know, a guide on how to use your personal brand to elevate your visibility and really land that dream job. I truly, truly believe that your dream job exists. You either need to find it or create it. Mm, I love it. That's another quotable. I love it. Well, um, I'm just going to take a moment to hop on social media because I know that's like your second home from your real home. <laughs> And just see, um, we posted a question on Instagram, and let's just see what some of your followers want to know about you, because I'm a person of the people, so <laughs> I like to give the people what they want, when they want it. Okay, here we go, pulling it up. All right, we have a couple good ones here. Um, the one that I see that seems to be common is what motivates you? What keeps you going? Um, I think the drive is intrinsic. Uh, I, I really feel like you're either born with it or you're not, right? You kind of, I feel like I wake up every morning with this burning desire to want more and not everyone's always gonna feel that way. Like some people are happy and complacent in the place that they're in and you can't knock them for that. Um, what keeps me going is is just seeing my business grow right it's it's working with clients and seeing them actually like get that speaking engagement or get that you know client that they really really wanted or you know whatever it is launch finally launch their website after talking about it for five years right. um so when i see those steps it motivates me because it validates that i know what i'm doing right because like i mentioned off camera ageism is real and because you know I'm under 25 and I'm running a business and I have clients and do all these things, people want to second guess your ability to make things happen. So when I see, you know, my clients flourishing, it makes me really proud because I'm like, damn, I did that. Like, yes, yeah. you know, like we did this. Um, and I feel like a lot of people don't have that cheerleader, right, in the background. So it motivates me to, to help others, to motivate other people and kind of keep them going. Right. Well, that's a great segue to another question that was posed is, you know, when did you start? How did you start the Branding Muse? I know that's a long story. <laughs> Let's try to, you know, hit a, hit a, hit a few points. Um, so the Branding Muse was really born out of a need for me to be able to share my message. So like I mentioned, when I was in college, I was a PR major and I was in the Public Relations Student Society. And through there, I was able to travel to tons of conferences and professional um, development events and things like that. And I started blogging about it. I started participating in Twitter chats. Um, so when graduation time came, it, it wasn't difficult for me to find a job. Um, so a lot of my friends were always like, what did you do? Like, let me see your resume. Uh, so I got tired of, you know, basically consulting with people one-on-one -on -one and telling them everything I, I knew. I wanted a bigger platform in order to be able to share the knowledge, right? Share the wealth of, of what I had been learning around personal branding and social media in order to help other college students and young professionals be able to elevate their career to the next level and really be able, like I said, to do what they really wanted to do. Right. Right. I've never, you know, felt like I was trapped and like I'm stuck or been unemployed for more than two months without me wanting to be unemployed. Mm -hmm. um, it's been very easy, you know, to just kind of pick up the phone and say, hey, like, I'm looking for a job. Like, do you know anything? Like, pick up leads. Right. So the brand team was really born out of that, wanting to help other people be able to maneuver through their career in a very seamless and, like, easy way. Right. Know? Wonderful. And we're going to wrap it up. Let me find a real good one, a good juicy one. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, okay. Someone asked. Oh, I'm nervous. Mm. <laughs> so they've been behaving. They're, they're behaving. It's not too bad. Um, I'll let you actually. No, I'll choose. I was going to say I'll let you choose. I'll choose. I'll choose. Um, how do you prioritize and how do you cope with bad days? That was actually a mashup of two. Um, coping with bad days. Uh, it usually includes uh, emotional eating. Yes. Pizza. You don't have burgers. many bad days <laughs> by the looks of it. Uh, I go to the gym, girl. I go to the gym. Um, but I don't. I think it's it's all about being optimistic. It's, it's more so about your mindset than the bad day, right? Um, 
it's about knowing that this is a temporary situation and that it's gonna get better and that God gave you everything that you need to move forward, right? right. Like God gives, you know, the hardest battles to the strongest soldiers. So if you're going through this particular situation, you have everything you need to get out of it, right? You're right. being put through something to get to something. Right. Let me say that one more time. Mm. You're being put through something to get to something. Right. So when I have bad days, you know, I just take it for what it is. I pick up and I keep going because I know tomorrow is going to be better, right? Like you're best days are always ahead of you right um, so I always look at it that way but in terms of prioritizing it's it's difficult because sometimes you get caught up between running your business and also servicing your clients mm-hmm. um, and I love servicing my clients right I love having my sessions and doing my brainstorms and all that type of stuff but then I'm like oh my god I didn't send out this newsletter like for two months like yeah. what I'm gonna do so it, it's all about balance right and it's all about what's a sense of urgency um, what needs to get done? Do I need to write this blog post? Yes, but do I need to get on the phone with this client? This is more important. So right. it's all about you know what has more of a sense of urgency, what has a quicker deadline, um, what's going to take me longer to do, but also what do I feel like doing? If I don't feel like writing a blog post today, then I'm not going to write it because it's probably not going to be too good, mm-hmm. right? So it's all about you know kind of feeling yourself out, setting up a schedule for yourself, and then moving from there, kind of knowing, okay, these are all the things that I need to get done. What needs to get done first? Right. And then what do I want to get done? So I use it that way. I think that's a good rule of thumb. What needs to get done and what do I want to get done? Because that can be on two different pages. <laughs> well, Emily, thank you so much for yeah, talking with us. I appreciate you sharing your talent and having the courage to turn your passion into your career. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Guys, I want you guys to stay updated with Emily. She has such a great story. She has a lot of good stuff in store for her for the future. And they can do that by going to thebrandingmuse.com. And all you can learn more about her, get all her little social media links, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time.